Life with Kennedy has always been happy. She is one of those, I always say, glass half full type people. She always sees the good, the positive. She is uh, full of life, just full of energy, loves everybody, loves everything. She just, just has a kind heart. She's a normal teenage girl. She was cheerleader, junior high squad. She's a freshman in the ninth grade. Hi, my name is Kennedy Allison. I fell into cardiac arrest at school and two teachers and an AD saved my life. When I get there, she is blue in color. I immediately started doing CPR on Kennedy and John King happened to be at the right place at the right time and grabbed the defibrillator and joined me. I realized I recognized her. My daughter is in her class. There was a lot of emotion initially, but then I think the training took over and we went to, we went to work. Jennifer and I were at home. We had to both be at home um, that, that morning. My cell phone rang and it was our assistant superintendent. She's very involved with the school, so it's not uncommon for her to get a phone call from the school. And he proceeded to tell me that she had had some sort of seizure-like episode and they were going to need to take her to the hospital. We didn't know it was a heart-related issue. We just thought it was a, a seizure. I'm thinking something has happened. She's sitting in a chair. We're going to go now figure out what's going on. Within another minute or two, Mr. Martin called me back. He kind of said about the same thing, but at the end of his statement, he goes, but they have her stable. I'm getting emotional because I know it's more serious, but we rush out of here. Uh, at first we thought we were going to the hospital, but she called a friend at the school. And we found out that they were still at the school. And in a very calm voice, Ms. Hurst said, Kennedy was in class, she passed out, she wasn't breathing, there was no pulse, they've administered CPR, they've used the AED machine on her, and they got a rhythm back. Um, the EMTs are working on her now and about to put her in the ambulance to go to the emergency room. When we got there, the director of that department met us at the door basically saying, we've downloaded all of the information from the AED from the school. We don't know why it happened, but she won't leave this building without a defibrillator placed. She finally started kind of coming to, like I said, in the middle of the night. And we got on each side of the bed and as she was waking up, like I'd said her name and she looked at me and he said her name and she looked at him. and. Then the best thing was I said I love you to her and then she mouthed it back and you know we knew at that time that she was still there. For me, you know, once we once we found out or felt like, you know, she was going to be okay, um, you could The next day, she's like a normal child. I mean, even for her, she has no memory of what happened. No recollection at all. <laughs> it was crazy, um, the warp speed pace that everything happened. Your daughter had sudden cardiac arrest at school on a Friday to having her implantable cardiac defibrillator placed on a Tuesday and they were ready to send us home on Wednesday. We were home and at the basketball game that Friday night to surprise a gym full of people that had supported us. She is just kind of bounced right back and just kind of picked up where she left off. I could have never imagined that my 14 year old daughter would be who makes this personal for me. If that helps save another person in, in some situation because someone heard her story and they thought, let's use the AED. If it means us taking the time out of our lives to help spread that message, then we want to do that. The AED saved her life.